The four types of pipe you'll run into other than PVC are copper, galvanized, PEX, and CPVC. All of these will have to be converted over to PVC. With copper, you want to sand the connection down with either a four-way sander or sanding cloth. You can either use a compression fitting or a shark bite. With the compression fitting, you have the compression nut followed by three different internal pieces. The O-ring, the metal spacer, and the metal ring. First, the compression nuts placed over the copper, followed by the other three and the PVC adapter. This is then tightened down onto the adapter, which compresses onto the copper. Next, the shark bite fitting. With one end being a female thread for a PVC adapter, and the other side a compression. Wrap four to five layers of Teflon tape on the adapter, then thread the shark bite onto the PVC. This shark bite adapter can be used on either the copper, the PEX, or even the CPVC. It's most commonly used with the copper and the PEX. The compression fitting is applied to the PEX exactly the same way as it is to the copper. With CPVC, the most common transition is a 3 quarter CPVC to 3 quarter PVC adapter. Using CPVC glue, attach the adapter to the pipe. Then with regular PVC glue, attach a PVC fitting to the adapter. With galvanized, a compression fitting is used as well. However, this one just consists of a compression nut, a rubber gasket, and the PVC adapter. The compression nut is threaded onto the adapter, compressing onto the galvanized. On the other end, PVC stick, the same size, is compressed. Your second option for galvanized is another compression fitting. However, this fitting has a compression side for the galvanized, with the other side being a male threaded end. After compressing onto the galvanized, the other side is wrapped in Teflon, and then either a female threaded 90 or a female threaded coupling is placed onto the compression fitting. 